welcome back to the lecture series on heat transfer operation this is yogesh langi in this video we will learn about the convective heat transfer correlations what is the convective heat transfer correlations there are the number of correlations in the heat transfer this is useful uh, the for to calculate the theoretical values of the heat transfer coefficient or all heat transfer coefficient and to know the value of q now we are dividing the convective heat transfer correlations in two part the flow flow through the pipe that is inside which we call the internal flow and one convective heat transfer correlations for the external flow that is the outside the pipe or at the surface okay so we divide this the convective heat transfer correlation for internal flow and convective heat transfer correlation for the external flow in this video we will see the what are the convective heat transfer correlations for internal flow as we learn in the dimensional analysis for the force convection we have the three dimensionless number and from that three dimensionless number we make a one correlation between a nusselt number reynolds number and the prandtl number and the same here we try to get the equations in terms of the nusselt number reynolds number and prandtl number for the force convection and for the internal flow now as i said the fluid flow from the pipe or the duct called as the internal flow and the fluid flow over a surface such as a plate pipe is called the external flow now first we will look for the convective heat transfer in pipe for a turbulent flow now when we are dealing with the flow we can, we are divided the pattern of flow in terms of the lamina in terms of the transition and the turbulence in heat transfer maximum correlations are developed in lamina for the laminar flow and for the turbulence so here we will look for a turbulent flow now the one of the equation a well known equation is the kolben equation another is ditas bolter equation and the cedar tate equation and many more equations are available for the turbulent flow and the flow of fluid inside the pipe or to the duct and for the force convection so here what are the condition the conditions are convective transfer correlations we are calculating uh, we are for the force convection the pattern the it is in a internal internal work and the flow pattern is set up right and this cedar-tate equation also is available for the laminar flow but here the condition in bracket it is mentioned for a large temperature difference when there is a large temperature difference the temperature gradient that time we can use this cedar-tate equation too so let's see how another is the convective heat transfer in pipes for a laminar flow and here we are using the cedar tate equation we use the gray's equation for calculating the heat transfer coefficient or for calculating the nusselt number fine so for the internal flow we are dealing with the turbulent flow these are the equations and for the laminar flow these are the equation apart from this there are a the number of equations are available depend on what is the reynolds number what is the geometry 
and the other conditions on that one the correlations are depend okay so here for our uh, case we are just dealing with uh, these five correlations let's first look at the convective heat transfer in pipes for a turbulent flow now first we have look out the kolban equation what is kolban equation the nusselt number in turbulent flow is related to the friction factor through the chilton kolban analogy and it is expressed as a nusselt number is equals to the 0.125 friction friction factor into the reynolds number prandtl number raised to the power 1 by 3 now as per the the analogy between the chilton and kolban they write the expression as the nusselt number is a function of reynolds number and prandtl number and this it is a function of friction factor for that one it is take this is 0.125 a constant term and the friction factor is considered and this is the power 1 by 3 now as per the power law, law relation for the friction factor we can write the f is equal to 0.184 into reynolds number raised to the power minus 0.2 this is for the turbulent flow i'm talking okay so f is nothing but the 0.184 into re raised to the power minus 0.2 so substitute the value of f in equation 1 and we will get the equation as The Nusselt number is equals to the 0.023, Reynolds number raised to the power 0.8, and Prandtl number raised to the power 1 by 3. And this is we call a Kolban equation. Okay. Now another equation. It is Ditter's Boulder equation. Now what is the change uh, from the Kolban equation? Now for the accuracy of the Kolban equation can be improved by modifying it as. So Ditter's Boulder equation it just the modifying the Kolban equation. How? let's see a nusselt number is a function of 0.023 reynolds number raised to the power 0.8 and prandtl number raised to the power n in the kolban equation we see it is 1 by 3 now n it is defined by this delta sign boulder how let's see and it give the condition as the value of n it should be the 0.4 for heating of a fluid flowing through the tube if you are heating the fluid which is flowing through the tube that time you take it is 0.4 and when the fluid is cooling that time you take it is 0.3 it means if the cold fluid is flowing inside the tube okay that time you take it is 0.4 because you are heating the fluid and when the hot fluid is flowing through the tube means you are cooling the fluid then you take it is 0.3 okay so that is the change is make here and they make a uh, this correlation another equation that we see it is cedar tate equation now when the variation in the properties is large due to the large temperature difference this equation is used initially i said the cedar tate equation it is used for a large temperature difference and we know that the properties of the fluids are depend on the temperature now when there is a vast temperature difference then the viscosity density conductivity of the fluid which is flowing at the center and it is flowing near the surface hot surface then the property of the fluid which is flowing near the surface is different and the properties of the bulk fluid is different okay and on that basis they make this equation as The Nusselt number is equals to the 0.027 Reynolds number raised to the power 0.8 Prandtl number raised to the power 1 by 3 and the addition term is mu of the viscosity of the fluid at bulk temperature and the viscosity of the fluid at the surface temperature. Now the viscosity of the fluid, the fluid which is flowing near the surface, and the viscosity of the bulk. fluid temperature raised to the power 0.14 so they are taking this two because the value of this one and this one are different and that's why it is considering so that's why it's given nusselt number equals to the 0.027 reynolds number raised to the power 0.8 and prandtl number raised to the power 1 by 3 and this equation is applicable applicable up to 
point seven. The parental number should be greater than point seven, and the parental number should be less than around sixteen thousand. And the Reynolds number should be greater than ten thousand. Then only this equation is applicable. All the correlations have certain conditions. Most of the times they give the conditions of this parental number. They give the condition of the Reynolds number. The range is mentioned. The Reynolds number should be given from this to this, or parental number uh, should be this to this. And for this condition only, this particular equation is applicable. Okay. Now another case. It is convective heat transfer in pipe for a laminar flow. The fluid is flowing through the pipe, and the heat transfer takes place by the convection, and the flow pattern is laminar. For this case, we have the equation as C dotted equation. Now, what is C dotted equation? This is the equation. It is the set number is equals to the 1.86 in bracket Reynolds number into the parental number in bracket d by l, whole bracket raised to the power of 1 by 3 into mu by mu suffix b by mu suffix s raised to the power 0.14. Where the u suffix b viscosity of the fluid at a bulk temperature temperature u suffix s is the viscosity of the fluid at the wall temperature and this d is stands for the diameter of the pipe inner diameter of the pipe and l is the length of the pipe so if it is a laminar flow we use the dotted equation to calculate the nusselt number and this equation is valid as i said there is uh, certain conditions are mentioned the conditions here the reynolds number should be less than 2100 and the Reynolds number parental number into the D by L it should be greater than 100 so this is the condition and for this condition this particular equation is used so what we see we see the <coughs> the convective transfer correlation for the internal flow for the turbulent flow and for the laminar flow thank you very much for watching this video